I received a phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, that there was a burglary in progress at a commercial business. So I suited up, I drove to this business. Uh, once I arrived at the scene, I spoke to the detectives. They advised me that uh, it was a burglary in progress. Troopers showed up to. Uh, apparently when they rolled up, they took off on foot. While I was conducting my walkthrough, I noticed some items of clothing that we all determined that was out of place and that was an item of interest. Uh, so right off the bat, I, I collected those and determined that these were suitable to be run on our rapid DNA machine. The rapid DNA machine was positive for a suspect. We got an email from the crime scene office that they were able to get a DNA hit using their rapid DNA machine. And as a result of that, I was given a suspect name. We located the suspect and after sort of presenting him with the facts in the case, obtained a confession. So it's important to know that the chemistries and the technologies that are used in conventional DNA analysis are also used in rapid DNA analysis. The companies that are making the scientific equipment that we use in the laboratory are often making the consumables and the scientific equipment used in the rapid DNA analysis. So rapid DNA analysis is not a novel technique per se. It's just applying what's done in a conventional laboratory outside of the conventional laboratory itself. I'm very excited. In the short time that we've been working with this, this program itself, we've had about a little over maybe 20 to 25 submissions, and we've issued four rapid DNA hits already. And so I feel that this is a technology that can, if used properly, and you know, in consultation with, with our state police crime scene unit, it can be really harnessed to maximize the investigative leads that could, that could then assist the law enforcement agencies that need this sort of analysis itself. Typical DNA in the past, you would maybe get notified if you got lucky and got a hit months after the fact. With this new rapid DNA technology, you're, there's times where you're able to identify and get a suspect name the same day. And with that, you can immediately start further investigation, locate this individual, oftentimes find proceeds of whatever crimes are committed, and it really just breaks the case wide open right off the start. And it kind of points you in the right direction immediately. Having this rapid DNA machine is a huge game changer because when I go out to a scene, I'm going out there to try to catch a suspect. I'm not going out there just to check a box saying we process that this is our results. So when we come back to the station and I get a hit on a rapid DNA machine or a hit on a fingerprint, that's very gratifying.